We've heard this story many times before. Cheaper batteries, faster charging, and massive 1,000-mile range breakthroughs that are supposed to change electric vehicles forever. Most of the time, these promises sound exciting, but they never actually make it into mass production. Out of all these ideas, solid-state batteries have always been the most promising. At the same time, they've also become the most boring to hear about, because year after year, they stay stuck in labs and prototypes. So, when people hear solid-state battery, the first reaction is usually skepticism. But this time might actually be different, not because the claims suddenly sound better, but because a credible company called Donut Lab has officially announced mass production. And that's why tech media all over the world is talking about it right now. These are being described as the first solid-state batteries you can actually buy today, not something promised for 2030. According to Donut Lab, their batteries can dramatically improve range, lifespan, and charging speed for electric cars, motorcycles, heavy trucks, and even construction equipment. So the big questions are simple. Why is this the most believable solid-state battery we've seen so far, and what makes it special? Before we go deeper into Donut Lab itself, we need to understand the battery. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries that use a liquid electrolyte, Donut Lab's battery removes the liquid completely. Solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte instead. Donut Lab says their battery reaches an energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram, which is a huge jump compared to today's lithium-ion batteries that usually sit between 250 and 300 watt-hours per kilogram. For comparison, Tesla's advanced 4680 battery currently used in the Cybertruck, is believed to be under 300 watt-hours per kilogram. BYD's popular LFP blade battery is even lower, at around 175 watt-hours per kilogram. This means solid-state batteries are getting close to double the energy density of some batteries used today, and that also means they're much lighter. This matters because most electric vehicles today use LFP batteries. Around 60% of EVs worldwide run on LFP because they're cheap and very stable. The downside is that LFP batteries rarely exceed 200 watt-hours per kilogram. So imagine this. If a car using an LFP battery today has a 200-mile range, swapping it with Donut Lab's solid-state battery could push that range to 400 miles or more. Take Tesla's Model Y as an example. It currently offers up to 357 miles of range using what's believed to be a 75 kilowatt hour NMC battery. Now imagine a Model Y with more than 700 miles of range. That might sound extreme, but if Tesla ever partnered with Donut Lab, it could happen faster than many people expect. Elon Musk has always been willing to invest heavily in better batteries as long as they deliver real improvements. Even without talking about pricing yet, the energy density alone makes this technology incredibly exciting. Higher energy density simply means lighter batteries and much longer driving range. That's the core advantage. So why is this the first solid-state battery to actually reach mass production? According to Donut Lab, these batteries aren't just lab samples. They're available right now for real production, not in five years, not in 2030. Today, Donut Lab claims it already has gigawatt-hour scale production capacity, something almost no other company has achieved with solid-state technology. In fact, they say their battery is already being shipped in real production vehicles. And energy density isn't the only breakthrough. Donut Lab says their solid-state battery can fully charge in as little as five minutes. That's roughly the same amount of time it takes to fill a gas tank. This kind of charging speed directly tackles range anxiety, which has held EV adoption back for years. With charging this fast, drivers could stop briefly and then continue for hundreds of miles. The reason this is possible is the battery's sulfide-based solid electrolyte. 
Unlike liquid electrolytes, which overheat under extreme charging, this solid material remains stable even at very high power levels. It allows lithium ions to move incredibly fast without damaging the battery. Charging a battery in five minutes likely requires enormous power, possibly around one megawatt. Donut Lab hasn't shared exact numbers, but they say the battery is designed to handle it without sacrificing durability. And this is where things get truly shocking. Donut Lab claims their battery can handle up to 100,000 charge cycles. For context, most lithium-ion batteries today last between 1,000 and 1,500 cycles. High-end batteries might reach 5,000 cycles, but 100,000 cycles is in a completely different category. If you charged this battery once per day, it would take more than 270 years to reach that number. That sounds almost unbelievable. And if you think it doesn't make sense, let us know in the comments. If true, this would mean a battery that could outlast the vehicle itself. In theory, it could support millions of miles of driving. Battery degradation is one of the biggest concerns with EVs. Replacing a battery today can cost anywhere from $5,000 to $16,000. That's one reason many people still hesitate to switch to electric. So, how did Donut Lab achieve this lifespan? In simple terms, liquid electrolytes cause unwanted chemical reactions every time a battery charges and discharges. Over time, those reactions degrade the battery. A solid electrolyte eliminates most of those reactions. Lithium ions can move back and forth without damaging the internal structure. This means no swelling, no leaks, and very slow capacity loss. Donut Lab is also aiming for something else. Safety. They claim their battery won't catch fire, even if damaged. Solid electrolytes are non-flammable and act as a barrier against thermal runaway. According to the company, the battery retains over 99% of its capacity in extreme temperatures, from minus 30 degrees Celsius to over 100 degrees Celsius. That temperature range would destroy most lithium-ion batteries. Another important point is materials. Donut Lab says its battery doesn't rely on cobalt or nickel. That reduces environmental impact and avoids supply chain risks tied to mining and geopolitics. The company also claims its batteries are cheaper to produce than traditional lithium-ion batteries. While pricing details haven't been revealed, this suggests solid-state batteries might not be limited to luxury vehicles. Of course, skepticism is understandable, but Donut Lab appears to be moving beyond theory and into real-world use. The Verge TS Pro electric motorcycle is expected to be the first commercial vehicle powered by Donut Lab's solid-state battery, with customer deliveries scheduled soon. On that bike, range jumps from about 217 miles to 370 miles using the same physical battery space. Charging time drops to under 10 minutes. According to Donut Lab, their batteries are already ready to integrate into existing production lines. So why have another companies done this? The biggest challenge is manufacturing. Solid materials don't make perfect contact, like liquids do, which increases resistance and cracking risk. Preventing lithium dendrites also requires extremely advanced materials. On top of that, solid-state batteries need ultra-dry environments and high assembly pressure. Existing lithium-ion factories can't easily be reused. Still, solid-state batteries could solve nearly every major weakness of today's EVs. Higher energy density, faster charging, extreme durability, and stable performance in all climates. Once EVs can drive 500 or 600 miles, charge in minutes, and last decades without battery replacement, internal combustion engines lose most of their advantages. This also lowers ownership costs, increases resale value, and makes EVs more sustainable. Longer battery life means fewer replacements and less waste.
Recycling systems will need to adapt, and these claims still need long-term, real-world validation. But if they hold up, solid-state batteries could change everything. So are solid-state batteries the end of gas engines? We think they'll speed up that transition significantly. By 2035, internal combustion engines could be largely obsolete. As Tesla fans, we're especially excited. Solid-state technology fits perfectly with Tesla's long-term vision. Higher range, faster charging, longer lifespan, and better safety. So what do you think about Donut Lab's solid-state battery? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Device Dimension. Subscribe for more deep dives into future tech, and we'll see you in the next one.